When I think back to the year 1998, it was perhaps one of my favourite years of being alive. The whole vibe in England was electric. We had great music, the economy was booming, I was coming of age and most importantly we had a national football team which also was coming of age and very well could have gone on to win the whole World Cup. Well we all know how that turned out but just thinking back to this positive time filled me with enough nostalgia to want to revisit this game some 20 years after France 98 started and for me personally it was the most memorable World Cup. Of course, just months after EA released FIFA 98 Road to the World Cup, the same studio and publisher released World Cup 98 on multiple platforms. As you can tell, they were cashing in on the hype for the tournament and the fact that many countries go World Cup crazy. I say that because from my channel statistics there will be a big proportion of you watching this who may have no interest in the game whatsoever. But for those who love the beautiful game, this will be a nostalgia trip like no other. As is the case with EA holding the FIFA license, the game is packed full of real teams, players and all of the fanfare that goes with the sport. There are all 32 teams who qualified plus the 8 who didn't to help pan out the group stage as if playing the World Cup mode from the start. As the World Cup took place in France this year, you'll not only get the 10 national stadia used, however they've all been recreated perfectly as you would have expected coming from EA. Whilst FIFA 98 had a whole host of club teams and local stadiums, player creation and the like, World Cup 98 is a much more streamlined affair, which was made to recreate the tournament experience. Well of course they also wanted to make quick cash from this release, but let's just give them the benefit of the doubt this one time. There are five game modes to choose from which include friendlies, the World Cup tournament, training, penalties and the World Cup classics mode which you unlock after winning the World Cup for the first time. They're all self-explanatory, but the World Cup Classics mode sees you recreate classic encounters from World Cup history, complete with historical balls and squads. And so if you've ever wanted to use Nobby Styles to stick a few more past the Germans, you'll be pleasantly surprised. EA however did make some gameplay tweaks to this game, which make it an improvement over FIFA 98. For a start, it's much more cinematic, with more in-game cutscenes and events which give the overall presentation some much needed polish. Not only that, but they have also tweaked the gameplay to make things run smoother. As you can see however, the game still struggles to lock down a solid frame rate. Add to this the same unresponsive controls from FIFA 98 and you'll quickly lose count of how many times you've been through on goal and the keeper snatched the ball off you whilst you've been hammering the shoot button for the tenth time in a row just trying to get the shot away. The passing too was also apparently tweaked to make it more realistic, but what this essentially means is that you're going to be overhitting way too many passes. Considering that the World Cup is a showcase of the world's best talent, it's by no means a reflection of the matches when so many straightforward passes go amiss. One area however which you'll instantly notice an improvement is the game's AI. Players now react to balls coming at them at different speeds. And so if a slower ball goes to a player, you'll be quicker at trapping it and moving on from there. Whereas longer hit or quicker passes will take a moment to get under control. The goalkeepers too are much smarter, and although there are still sweet spots in the game, they seem much more switched on. Graphically, the game seems to be pretty much on par with FIFA 98, and naturally it's not as nice looking as FIFA 99 went on to be. Sure everything looks nice with the real stadia, kits and so on, but the playing likenesses are way off, and this was fairly common for the time aside from a few international renowned superstars that they put a lot of emphasis on. It's just a shame that the frame rate was so off, because it gives the game a stuttering look pretty much all of the time, and it really becomes an annoyance when combined with the unresponsive controls. The audio department however is much nicer. The effects and ambient noises are as close to perfect as you could get at the time and with EA at the helm this has pretty much always been the case. Add to that Chumbawamba's classic track as the theme song and you're basically only going to get better this by playing FIFA 98 and listening to Blur's song too. The game also has full Dolby surround sound and commentary by John Motson and Des Lynham who give a well delivered if somewhat limited set of lines due to cartridge constraints. The only way I could have improved on the music would have been to have Fat Les's Vindaloo as the official soundtrack, but beggars can't be choosers. And if you don't know what Fat Les Vindaloo is, I do suggest that you go and check it out, as it's by far my favourite football song. 
and one which I would sing many times pissed as a nuke during England matches down the local boozer. Sadly though, despite having many memories of playing this game with my brother during France 98, the game has aged quite poorly. When compared to the subliminal International Superstar Soccer series on the N64, there really is no reason to go back and play this game, aside from anyone like myself who wanted a quick fix of retro football purity and smashing goals in as Gaza. And so for today's topic of conversation, for anyone who's still listening at least, I'd love to know what your favourite World Cup ever was. I also have a love for USA 94 which was another brilliant tournament and full of classic moments. And as the 2018 World Cup kicks off now in Russia, I'd love to take your bets as to who you think will be this year's winner. As always, sound off in the comments section down below, and until next time.